Hello, all you frosty little internet bunnies, and welcome to the News of Legends tasting menu. It's already week four, and I can feel the depression sinking deeper into my soul. As we mentioned last week, Moscow 5 ceased to operate and released their LOL team. This week, the team formerly known as M5 announced their new sponsor, Gambit Gaming. IEM Katowice, that's as close as I'm going to get, was the first event under their new banner, and the start was rough indeed, with the Russians barely making it out of group stages on a time-based tiebreaker. Two days later, the rust had been shaken off, and Gambit Gaming took out both the Zubu Frost and the Zubu Blades in four straight games. Diamond was particularly moved by their victory, with a dance that would have made pretty much any reasonable person blush. Staying in the esports scene, two more players have been made ineligible to take part in Season 3 due to toxic behavior. Against all authorities, Linac and Mouse Sports Envision have both had accounts permabanned recently, and Riot followed this up by banning them from the LCS for one season. While their behavior was almost certainly terrible, Riot do not take permabans lightly after all. The timing, just before the European LCS offline qualifiers, puts their teams in a terrible position. They need to find and settle their new player in just over a week, a tall order to say the very least. Moving on to some league news, Annie got her visual remake this week. In Tibbers 2, the old bear has never looked more snazzy. All patchworked and full of fire, he will be hitting the fields of justice soon, along with his tiny compatriot. A few quality of life improvements are on the horizon, though they haven't hit live yet. Matchmaking will start to take the number of wins into account and try not to match people with 7 wins versus people with 3,000. This will add a little time to the queue, but Riot assures us it's worth it. A whole new rank system was announced this week. How much it will actually help the enjoyment levels of playing ranked remains to be seen, but it will be a very large change indeed. The nearest neighbor to the new system would have to be StarCraft II's ranking system, so if you're familiar with that, it's a similar concept. If you're not, well, good luck wading through trying to figure out exactly how it's going to work. Also, the set schedule for champion price reductions is going into effect officially. To refresh your memory, when a new champion comes out, an old one will drop in price. The first three on the Bechipan list are Yorick, Leona, and Wukong in that order. This wraps up the major news for this week. Tune in next week for more of my beautiful voice and aim your browsers at newsoflegends.com for all the news as it happens. I've been Wombat, and I'll see you next time.